Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is M-Dog, and this is another... Ooh, yeah, red worms. Another leveling episode. Still haven't decided for sure, but I'm kind of leaning towards putting maybe one point towards digging. Just one rough order. But that's okay. It's almost 30 silver. I think it's still worth going for. So somebody posted uh, a comment recently. Let's go ahead and get set up in this in this spot. And uh, then I'll read some comments. But since it's nighttime, let's see if if this new rough spot's going to work. This is uh, Mascutis. Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Been around for a long time, but I appreciate the info. Let's see, 56, 5693. It's right here. Six to eight meters. All right, so we'll literally do six, seven, eight meters. I assume we're just talking straight out here. It's got to be, right? We just want to go as small as we can with worms. I will put, um, we'll put roach mix out on the middle one. And the other two will keep will keep naked. But as I've said before, and if you're new to the game, I want to make sure that this is uh, communicated clearly. We'll go eight eight meter clip on this one. Um, finding a fish like rough, if you can find a good spot for them where it's easy to catch, uh, you can quickly get the cafe orders done. There are a lot of rough cafe orders that rotate through and typically it's just really good silver, you know? So once rough time is over or once we have plenty of rough, if we start to catch them here um, for the cafe order, then I also want to move to a, uh, to a different spot to try it for Crucian Gibbles. <clears throat> it's not, yeah, I mean, it's still like right there at spawn, but it's a little different than what we've been trying. And we don't have the ideal baits, but hopefully we can still see that it's an active spot. All right. So what we're supposed to be doing is dig, dig, dig. We'll dig as long as we can stand it, and then we'll start leveling up bait harvesting even more aggressively, I guess. I think we can still make bread if we purchase some. We've got some silver. We're doing good. We're actually saving right now. Yeah, this might be a rough. All right, there's one. I think they just have to be 20 grams to hit that, that cafe order, which is kind of insane, but this also could be a rough. With these little um, starter feeders, they don't have, you can't adjust the sensitivity. So the, all they have is the 42 gram quiver tip. So it is often hard to tell if there is a fish on uh, without just like picking it up and hitting R. Now that is a nice rough. Okay, so. What we have is Bjorn Van uh, Week says, Howdy, M Dog, glad to see you're making videos again. Thanks so much. Um, Brendo with a follow up comment. If you remember the spot that we tried out at Winding, getting the bleak and the dace, and remember I was trying a lot of different depths and baits, Brendo sort of clarified uh, close and high for maggots and bleak. Right, so real close to the shore using maggots, high elevation in terms of the float, and uh, or in terms of how far down the bait is in the water, so like 17 centimeters basically. Um, far and deep plus casters for the dace. So if you want to catch more dace, which that might be fun to try, we'll see how time goes and what the um, Crucian gibbles are like, but we could go try a few dace again for a little bit maybe. Look at this rough, by the way. Holy moly, nice rough. And that was with the ground bait attached. 
And there's level 10, folks. Um, Dace don't care so much about, but it helps filter out other stuff. You can go down to one millimeter and still get them. So, so good, uh, good advice there. Uh, Follow-up advice on that spot. Man, we're killing it on, on rough. Uh, Mascutus is totally correct on this spot. We have our rough spot finally. Beautiful. Helps so much. Um, so back to Bjorn Van Week says, uh, for the new players, um, try and enjoy the game. Take advice from high-level players. Use VK and Discord as support system spots. Try explore the map. Just throw in a rod or float like uh, winding spin fish the whole river. Weeklies and records is going to be your best friend for what bait works on that particular lake. So very good advice for new players there. Uh, off the scale commented lobster crayfish pots, new fishing style. And, and I've often said that that would be a cool thing to put into this game. Um, not to even like take, take, you know, one of your fishing rod slots, but just as like an additional thing you could kind of do on the side as a way to catch, um, maybe some of the, the baits, the things that can be made into baits, like, um, you know, crayfish or the river mussels or whatever to have some kind of like cage you can put in the water and like slowly it has a chance of catching them or whatever. We're still getting a, a mix of um, somebody's asking in chat if I'm excited about the the new map uh, somebody also is saying it caught them off guard in episode two I guess I called out their name Mr. Z fishing asked if I was excited about the new map. And I said, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what they're going to do with the new map. I mean, I'm really curious, like what that's going to really be. So we can kind of go ahead and move here shortly because I'm almost certain we already have, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we've got five that are non markers. So we're good on the cafe order. So we'll do this another minute or two. Um, if there were two rough orders, then we would keep sitting here, try to hit the big one too, but we've just got the one. So, uh, Musaka said, biggest tip I can give for early level players is when you unlock old Berg and start unlocking bait harvesting, do not put on potato cubes on your Sorrento and spark for the starter kits. Cause you're asking for trouble. That's true. Uh, I've also often, I've commented before and often thought that, um, you know, it'd be cool if they switched potato cubes with pearl barley, move potato cubes down the list a little bit. In my opinion, um, there's just no real scenario as a low, low, low level player that using potato cubes is a good idea. Uh, as far as I know, cause you're, you're just going to end up getting your stuff busted by some massive carp. So, um, I kind of agree with that, uh, that advice for sure. Um, the starter kit would be the minimum setup for old Berg, and I would put on braid line before fishing there's massive fish. And even if you're trying to avoid them, you'll still find your baits. Just because you unlock a new place doesn't uh, to fish doesn't mean you have the proper setup to fish the location. Great content as, as always. Thank you so much, Masaka. And uh, really good words of advice. So somebody else asked if I have any of the uh, new big um, conventional reels. 
which I don't. The, on my main account, the only one I have is the relatively inexpensive catfish conventional reel, the one we've kind of discovered that is so good for catfish. Mm. Mr. Z Fishing is reminding me this, the Taiga, T-A-I-G-A, Taiga C or something like that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that will be a consideration if I end up spending a lot of time fishing at the new map. Might have to consider, do we save for, or spend all of our silver on a conventional reel? There's one that's about 25,000 silver that I really like the look of. It's like Cardinal S or something like that. Um, I don't think I would, I don't think I would get, go for the big, big one, but let's see what's on the map first. I, I'm, I'm, you know, we need to see what species are actually going to be there. All right, guys, I think we're moving. We've got plenty of rough. It's awesome. Like it's so, so nice that uh, we have this rough spot now, but let's go set up for Crucian Gibbles in this other spot that I read about on VK and just see, even though we don't have the ideal baits, let's just see if it seems to be a good spot. Um, we should be able to tell that just in terms of the activity. So we're going to uh, this is eight meter, eight meter, eight meter clip, and it's fifty three eighty seven, which is right over here, kind of where you spawn. And we'll throw our rods down, get them set up, and um, and then we'll go turn in this cafe order because I don't remember how much time was on it. I don't think I really checked. So fifty three eighty seven. It's one more read over. It looks like. Oh gosh, it's not here at all. Is it over there? Is it like across? I might have been close to it already. Oh, it's over here. Sorry. It's right here. Right? The boat's in the way. This has got to be it, right? All right. So we want to set these up for Crucian Gibbles which for us means just the largest hooks we have and bread. Again, I do think it's time, eight meter clip right close to the reeds, right? I do think it's probably time. Um, so maybe instead of putting the, instead of putting the third hook, I mean, set up in the water, let's go purchase at least one new hook. And at this point, I don't recommend getting any more cheap hooks. Um, now, don't go crazy and get hooks you don't necessarily need yet. But at least get the three and a half star happy hooks, which is, I think is what I'm going to do. Um, I also like really any of these, like up to this one. You're not spending too much silver. I feel like once you move past that, you know, it starts to get a little more expensive. Like I, once you're bream fishing, I like these, these happy hooks here. Um, maybe it's worth splurging and go ahead and getting these now. Like a size eight. We'll use it for bream anyway. It is 17 silver though. Or we could do size eight here. How much are we spending on that? Eight silver? Yeah, let's just do that. It's good enough. It's good enough, especially for Crucian Gibbles. Um, so let's find our rods and let's go ahead and let's set this one up with our new hook. So we're hoping that this will help us get a little bit larger. Might slow the bite rate down a little bit. Hopefully not, but we're hoping for a little bit larger Crucian Gibble average on this bigger hook. And then let's go turn in that, uh, oh, look at this, nice one, right off the bat. Right off the bat. All right. We gotta keep digging. Oh no, look at what happened to us. That's 30 silver down the drain. I'm gonna have to go back and watch the VOD, how much time was left on them. Anything else about to pop off? The closest is the pike order. Man, it's still a while though. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, 23, no, 28 silver gone just like that. 
That is really depressing. It's okay though. You live and learn. Should have uh, sh should have made a beeline. The moment. Wait, we have tons of bread, right? I don't know. It's weird now because they're all stacking on one spot. Maybe we didn't. Maybe that's all of it just stacked together. It just looks different to me now. Ooh, nice gibble. So this helps our silver average when we can, you know, get multiple gibbles or crucians that are at that at that nice size. Okay. It's a quick bite on this bigger hook. I like it. Yeah, look at this. So imagine if we had three this size hook, probably worth it. Um, you probably immediately make that silver back, even in one session, and then some. I feel like there was something else we were going to do. Let me double check that we've gone through all the comments. I think we're good. I apologize if I've missed anybody comment anybody's comments recently. I mean, I've... It's been a little bit unorganized as I try to like go back a couple episodes as my, you know, releases are a little bit delayed. Um, all right. Do we have, Ooh, look at this one. Holy cow. This is a nice one. I need to chill out here. Not even sure this is a crucian gibble to be honest with you. If it is, we're getting awfully close to trophy size. It is a gibble. It's not a trophy though. It's a nice big fat one. Is that our biggest gibble yet? Yeah, this spot seems good. This spot seems like a good one. I think we found another really good spot here for us to uh, spend our, our time. It's a really nice spot. So this is 5287 little eight meter clip right here going up, uh, you know, by the, the reeds. Um, I like it. And if you have the right baits, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of trophies coming out here. The right baits being things like sweet dough, some of the other dough baits that we just can't make yet. Ooh, I love it. Got a little overcast weather. Maybe these good fishing conditions will net us like 40 or 50 silver real fast. We'll see. So now we've got, uh, now we've got rough and, and a good crucian gibble spot. We're kind of in business. Like we can, we can, uh, Target some good cafe orders and also just try to maintain a decent like silver per hour. And then during the hot part of the day, if we want to run off to winding or catch rough here, something like that. Let's see. There's nothing else that we can really target unless we change the baits we're using or change spots. Um, but there's not anything that's really worth, I don't think, trying to target. You could get lucky on this eyed, but I mean, it's only 11 silver. You don't want to spend too much energy trying to just do that, I would think. How much silver is that roach order? That's an easy order using the right baits, but it's not that much silver. Those rough orders are just so good for silver. Tinch, not quite marker size though. Gibble, nice gibble. I think what I'm going to do is, if I can remember, is just not sell those five smallest rough and just sell everything else. So, like, we've already got almost 30 silver. 
even though we've missed, missed cafe orders. That way, next time we, you know, start an episode, if there's a rough order, <clears throat> you know, as long as they're not like spoiled, then we can, we can grab it real quick. I think if you don't have a cafe order to back it up, obviously if there's a cafe order, then at this level, and you know, at Mosquito, hitting that rough order is like the way to go. It's easy. You can usually get it done in one night, especially the small, the five, you know, 20 gram ones. If you don't have a cafe order that you're working on and you're trying to figure out what to do overnight, I think a spot like this, where you're going to end up with several big crucians and gibbles, probably is better average silver than like the rough spot. In other words, I would only go for the rough if part of the plan is to try to hit a cafe order. I think that's true. Um, just because when you're doing rough, uh, especially at this level without skill points, without some of the baits, without the exact right hook, you're going to catch a lot that are not markers, right? Where during that same overnight time, if you're fishing for crucian gibbles, even at this level with the equipment and stuff you have access to, even just with bread... Man, it's sad that those tents are so close to marker size, but not quite there. Um, you're going to mostly catch like pretty good, chunky crucian gibbles overnight. So I think this, this is probably the way to go if you don't. But if you have a cafe order, it's no brainer. Hit the rough. Do have to work watch work stuff tonight. But we should be able to get a full episode in before I have to to run. Let's keep watching these sizes. Because we could go check out the dace at winding. Remember, you can always see the weather somewhere by clicking on weather forecast on the map menu. So a pretty normal day at winding. I'm really thinking about what it is gear-wise that we want to get next. a nice one do we still have ground but yeah um because we basically want to save till we have like 150 buys us a starter kit. Uh, I guess what I'm trying to figure out though is that first starter kit, do we go safe route and get a feeder one? I think what I might do, what I'm considering is the first, the first one I'm thinking about getting a 150 silver spinning universal start. What's the test on this? 10 grams. The downside of this is we won't be able to throw spinner baits very far. So, I mean, you can use it at Belaya, but you won't be able to cast as far as you can with certain other, other pieces of equipment. But we could mess around, do some things at Belaya. We could also spin fish at um, Winding or even Troll here at Mosquito if we wanted to. And it still comes with the Lacerti. Which, you know, this spinning reel will be good with feeder fishing too. So, like, we can use it for bream fishing. So, this is the same reel that comes in this, this spot. So, how much is the comma comfort? Let's see. We've got four kilo max drag. Technically, we could use it with the Sorrento. Just be really careful. We're still going to be coming under the load capacity. 
So maybe not get an extra comma comfort. So I guess what I'm thinking is get two feeder fishing starts and one spin fishing start, and then use one of our Sorrentos for the third one, just for that like early transition to Oldberg. Because that way we can have a little bit of fun with spin fishing and also be set up, not take too much of a, a hit on getting set up for bream as quickly as possible. I think that's what I'm leaning towards. Because I do think it'd be fun one episode just to kind of mess around and try doing a little bit of trolling here at Mosquito. It's never too early to like learn how to troll. Because before you know it, you'll be at Cory, and trolling is such a blast there, and so potentially lucrative. Um, get a little practice in before you even get there. All right, what time is it? 8.25? All right, let's go um, turn that cafe order in if we can, and we'll get all our fish and then head out. Oh, uh, I guess we wait. There's plenty of time left. We may catch one more undersize, so let's maximize our silver and not not turn that in just yet. All right, I'm gonna stop throwing these in though. Pretty fish. I love the white bream when they're like over that, um, what is it, 500 grams? They turn into pancakes. That's pretty sweet. It's a roach. Yeah, this feels like the right time to leave to me. Okay, so now we do the order. It's still going to be better to do the order than just to straight sell those. Because we have some small ones. So, one through five. <coughs> Excuse me, I, I knew there was no way I was going to be able to find the mute button quick enough. That's interesting. Could get lucky and hit a, what is that, a trophy white brain? <laughs> I doubt it. Ooh. All right, I gotta remember to do that here. And when we sell fish, at, ooh yeah, look at that, 43 silver. We almost have 100. We are getting there. I'm not, I'm not digging enough though, folks. Not in the habit of digging enough. All right, so we're trying casters at one meter depth, pretty far out away from the shore. See if we can hit a couple of nice dace just for the fun of it. Um, so we need to take the hook off of one of these. Oh, no, we don't because we switched. All right, this this there we go all right we're gonna try it at one meter let's see how the bite rate is let's see how the bite rate is I guess we should also check the cafe here real quick because if there was like a bleak order, then it's kind of a no brainer. Let's just go for bleak. But if there's not an order, then I'd rather at least give Dace a chance. See if we can't hit a couple of nice ones.
Neither of them. Okay. And nothing that stands out is like, oh, that's an easy order for decent silver. I mean, they're all fine. They're all worth doing if you're just like fishing for that anyway, but no bleak or dace right now. throwing it not quite as far this time that's too close but we'll try it Let's try one more cast, and if it's still nothing, then we'll just try bleak for a minute, see if that's any better. It may just be slow here at the moment. see how this works you know what let's get off this in case we want to follow it down the down the path a bit oh we're getting a bite is it a dace I think it is yes that is absolutely what we're going for so that was more like a 65% cast oh, I didn't I didn't aim up enough there on that one. I think we just had a new comment on episode two, I believe. Getting another nibble maybe. It popped right out of his mouth. There we go. All right. Vadim Tudor just two minutes ago said, a good thing you can show is how important bream is once you unlock old Berg. It's an easy fish to catch. It's better than roach silver wise. It's good even higher level players build picker rods purposely for catching it. Good luck with your series. Hey, thanks so much. And that is that is uh, my kind of thinking there. I like that advice. Bremen's not for everybody, and I recognize that. But if you enjoy bottom fishing, it's a good way to, uh, to make some silver, some okay XP. And it's not, it is, it's like it motivates you to level up your bait harvesting, which is good. Um, yeah, overall, I think it's a good strategy. Yeah, and every once in a while, even on my main account, I'll go back and hit a really nice bream spot so you can get a couple trophies. I think we're getting a nibble, yep. Be a dace not quite a marker though so like let's just look at this real quick see what see what we're talking about so 135 gram dace is seven silver so like you know this could either be really good or really not so good in terms of like again the important thing is is it fun so if this is fun for you i think this is a like fine early strategy 
Um, cause you'll hit some times where you'll go on a good run of a few good days and that's going to add up quick, right? I mean, three of those and you're talking about whatever, you know, 20, 20 plus silver just in three little fish. Also levels up your float fishing a little bit. Please be a marker. It looks like a bleak. It is. All right. So for comparison, 48 gram bleak. It's probably what three silver no just one silver when does it go up there is a point there is a size point where bleak do become a little bit more desirable but the dace definitely seem to be a little harder to catch consistently but bigger reward Red worm. Ah. We've had some further down the river, so. Maybe I'll just start standing on the side of the bank and then just trying to cast max cast from the shoreline instead of starting out on that wooden plank hey there's a decent one right yeah 99 gram just under 100 i like it so we'll start right here kind of do max cast where did that land yeah it's not bad it's a little far we can re reposition it there we go so there's two now two days that are at least marker size Big money, big money. Looks like a bleak to me. Big one, though. Yeah. So there's a silver. There's a silver in my pocket. Mmm, juicy. Look at that pretty fish. This is pretty fun, guys. Again, variety. Take a little break from the Crucian Gibble rough roach grind and uh, come catch some dace. Mmm, wow, we're on a little bit of a, a streak right now. Remember, we're at one centimeter, I'm sorry, one meter depth. Casters, size 22 hook. Throwing kind of 90% cast off the shore. And at least right now, we're, we're kind of hitting them. That's not a marker, I don't think. Delusion says, do you guys throw your bad quality ground bait or do you use them? Mr. Z Fishing says, discard. But if you do what I do, which is put three points in it, you won't ever make any bad quality. So in that case, I use them all. Now, if you're just making some to level up your ground bait as quickly as possible, then it's not going to have ingredients in it. It's just going to be basic stuff or feed with you know an attractant or something so obviously that stuff you just throw out but we need to shovel but let's see if we get a fish on this one i don't know what the cutoff is probably coming up here we don't want to oh yeah we wouldn't want to go all the way to the bridge but is it bleak
Thank you. I really appreciate everybody who, especially on that second episode, has thrown in a lot of really sage advice. So thank you for doing that. It's nice to have something to kind of read through and interact with at the start of some of these episodes. So please keep the comments coming if you so desire. Look, we just had a weekly record dace, by the way. Look at us. Lazy shrimp. That's a good point. Maybe I shouldn't have used this as my name. I didn't think about that. Are people going to get confused and think that I'm staff? I didn't even think about that. So I put RF4 M Dog Gaming just because I'm running out of names um, for these leveling guides. I apologize if that has created any confusion. I am not sponsored or on payroll or anything for RF4. <laughs> uh, I log in tomorrow and the account is just gone <laughs> or renamed not RF4 M Dog Gaming. Sorry about that, El Woodieth. Oh, we need to dig. Bleak. Yeah. Silver in my pocket. So we're at 99. We're going to be at like what? At least 120, 130 at the end of this easily. So we should be able to purchase if we want to one of those starter kits next episode, really. That's Richard Hammer as in Isn't that a streamer? Is he playing this game again? That is so interesting. He's like a variety streamer, right? And uh, he went through a phase where he really liked RF4, it seemed like, maybe a year ago or so. Streamed it a good bit. And then um, it looks like he's playing it again now. What'd that say, 34? Level 34? It's pretty good. He's put in a lot of time. I thought we had a nibble there, but maybe it wasn't. Mm. One, two, three, four. Average like five. I mean, that's at least 20 silver, maybe a little bit more. We're also leveling up that float fishing. So we are now at 15.7 and 24 on bottom. Delusion in chat says, how can I discard a whole stack? I assume we're still talking about ground bait. You hit this button down here 
and then select it and then hit trash can to delete it. Or you can delete a whole row by holding shift and click, or you can pick which ones you want to delete by holding control and click and then hit delete button. That was a lucky fish. Is that a bleak? No, it's a dace. All right, let's do one more here. See if we can get one more dace. Yeah, good point. You can also just right click something and hit discard. If it's just one, one stack you're wanting to get rid of. I think you get dialed in here on this spot you realistically could start putting together like a hundred silver days you know 24 hour in-game days like hitting just a few days here crucian gibbles and like you know whatever else at mosquito certainly with cafe orders that's not a problem but even without cafe i think you could come pretty close get dialed in Oof, another nice one I mean that's like what eight silver right there I mean, if you enjoy float fishing like this, we need to dig. If you enjoy float fishing like this, and I mean, the rate we're catching these days, like this might be, this really might be a pretty reliable source of silver. Out of nowhere. Okay. Just for fun, let's try this real quick. So now we're going to maggots as shallow as possible. We're going to just plop it down right in front of us. That might be a little close, but we'll see. I think if you don't have a cafe order though, and you're not trying to get bait, I think the, um, the dace are probably the way to go. Bleep and bleak. There we go. All right. Let's see if we can find a marker. Marker bleak real quick. To me, this is just, this is the thing to do if you have a cafe order to support, to support it, though. I 
couldn't do I couldn't do float fishing like this. Um, I don't. I just think I think it's not as fun for me. So like working it in every once in a while is nice, but I really like my feeder fishing. Man, that one went forever. All right, let's dig one more time. Let's see. We'll try try it again, but yeah. Let's go a little farther. See if we can't get an earlier bite. Hmm. We are getting the bite, so just it's taking a little bit of time. That's a dace. I think I'm going to hold on to the, how many do we have? Mm, maybe not. I might hold on to the non-marker size bleak and dace just in case. I know there's non-marker size bleak orders, right? I'm not sure about dace. There might be. And just next time we start an episode, we'll start here. See if there's cafe orders for any of our fish. And then we'll go to Mosquito, check check the rough orders. Quick silver, if they have, if we get lucky on an order. Come on, be a giant bleak. That would have been a really giant bleak. Uh, <laughs> water body record bleak. So depressing. Ding, ding, ding. We did it. A legitimately good bleak. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So... Nothing has changed. So I think what we want to do is, well, let's just see. So it's around 37 silver. So we'll sell the marker bleak. This was four. So if you get up to decent sized bleak, it does start to in, in, increase. So there's seven silver for those, two silver for that roach and marker Dace gives us 27 silver. Almost 10 silver for the biggest one. Really nice. So, it look at the difference. I mean, we're talking about a 2 gram difference in size. If you hit the 100 gram mark on a dace, the silver jumps up dramatically. More than double, right? Or right at double, it looks like. Most expensive fish. Wow. That is surprising. Okay. So all of these non-markers together are less than half a silver. Which is why I'm going to just hold on to them. Just in case we get lucky on a cafe order here or mosquito. I don't know the cafe orders at Winding as well. But I think the, I think the bleak we have a chance. I really do. Okay. Um, I think we're good. I need to get back to kind of working stuff. So let's call it here. We hit level 10. We've got two uh, skill points to decide on. Um, 
we're getting there on silver to make a like you know first reasonable size purchase i guess yeah everything's kind of chugging along all right as always thanks for watching i will see you soon peace out